Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use the second floor tool on Home Styler. It's a much easier, faster, much more simple way to do it than my previous video when I showed you guys how to do the loft. So first things first, you're gonna just create a room, click the button that says add another floor and it'll automatically generate whatever floor you have already created. So if I was to do um, multiple rooms within this room or just multiple walls, those would show up in my second floor as well. But I just did one big room this time. Um, also, that top floor space, if you have multiple rooms, you could just delete those and it won't affect the bottom floor, which is really nice because you couldn't do that before when we were using countertops and everything. But what's nice about this is that you can click from both floors um, right now, I'm just changing the height of the walls and everything, but as you guys can see, I'm clicking or I clicked on the button that says show all floors. Um, I personally think it's nice because I like the view of it. It's not that easy when you're actually working and furnishing the space, but it's a nice option. So now what I'm going to do is add a staircase and I find it's much easier to kind of manipulate the view of everything because it's not um, updated enough for us to be able to add a staircase and it just looks like how a staircase will look in real life. So you still have to do a little bit of manipulation and what I like to do is use a staircase that doesn't have railings. It's what seems the most easiest for me, but you can still use this um, technique even if your staircase did have railings. So what I'm gonna do is just make the top of this staircase, um, like the very top step, reach the ceiling. And I'm gonna click to just that one floor's view to make it easier so that I can get it correct. And I'm gonna make that top step reach my ceiling. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna place it wherever I want it to go. I just pushed it against the wall because it felt it felt like that would that's what made the most sense. Um, so from this floor, it's gonna look like a normal staircase. It's gonna look like that's you know that you're going up to somewhere, especially once you render it. But on the second floor, the top floor, as you guys can see, you don't see anything. So what I'm going to do just to kind of manipulate it um, so that my renderings look realistic for both floors is I'm just going to go back into plain view and I'm going to add a wall where you would come out of the staircase on the top floor. And I'm just going to put that where I want it to be, go back into the three view, make sure it's um, lined up to where it would be like you walk up the staircase and it would still have space to walk onto that second floor. I'm going to do that. And um, if I need to adjust it, I would, but I was fine with this. So then I'm just gonna make that wall a partial wall. Um, back in plain view, you can only do it in plain view, but it just made the most sense to me. I don't know, maybe some people would wanna keep it a full wall, but I just left it partial. Um, that was just a preference thing. But as you guys can see, if you do go to one floor and create a wall, it won't affect the bottom floor, which is really, really nice. Um, because like you guys saw in the last video, it's not that easy when you're adding a countertop as your floor. So I'm really glad for this update. But now I'm just going to go in and try to decorate it, um, add the furnishing, the windows, um, just make it look better for when we render it so it's not just like an empty thing i'm going to speed that part up a lot so if you guys don't want to sit and watch that because it's not really the main point of the video then just skip through um and i'll see you guys at the end when we are finished decorating and we'll do a render
Okay, so here are the renderings. This is going to be the first floor. When you walk in, you are going to come into the door. To your left, you're going to have your TV, fireplace, um, your sofa, coffee table, your pet, some plants. Um, that's just what I put there to just make it look nice and cozy over there. And then as you keep looking around the room, you have the staircase, which looks pretty normal, a kitchen behind, um, a little office space when you first walk down the steps. And then we also have a little dining situation just for two people because I imagine this as a one person home. But yeah, you guys get the point. Now I'm just going to show you the image, um, the, just like the regular picture, just to show you guys that the staircase looks pretty normal. So this update is really nice because it looks like you actually are going to go somewhere upstairs versus, you know, when we at the countertop, it wasn't as realistic. Um, but now I'm going to show you guys the top floor, um, like the bedroom. I put a bathroom up there, um, closet space, everything like that. And I added a lot more windows um, just because I had the space for it and I thought it looked nice. So here that is. You would come up behind that partial wall and you would have closet space against the wall. All of that just for clothes, storage, anything like that. Your bathroom would be on the top floor in that room. I decided not to show the bathroom or design the bathroom because you guys know it's it's very straightforward to do a bathroom but you keep turning and you have some art wall, artwork your bed your nightstands um i just put this colorful rug in just to add some color and to make it more fun up there we have this really cool um like lounge chair and then we just have a huge plant and that is now, a very realistic view of the two stories on Home Stylist. Much, much easier, much faster, uh, much more straightforward. So I'm really happy for this update. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and I hope this helped all of you.